What is good guys, back on my World Cup, this time one true liking versus ABR. Before you click off the video thinking this is just a replay, wait a few turns, I recorded live from I think turn 13. Looking at preview, definitely a good matchup for Lycan, Magnezone, if it can trap the Pharaoh and the Scizor, then Alakazam is a huge problem for ABR's team. Potential shift Gimigina can also be a problem, we'll have to see if it's shift here, could also be AV. But yeah, he has a pack to also check stuff like Greninja, so it could definitely be a shift Gimigina. Uh, obviously Scarf Zone because his team is weak to Kartana. Um, biggest threat from ABR's side is most likely SD Glyph score. Koko can put in some work, but other than that his entire team is like walled by packs. But I don't want to talk too much, let's get right into it. Landris vs Pharaoh Zone lead. If this is a Scarf Landris, um, Lycan can just U-turn here. Because if ABR stays in, then you get to go zone and trap him. Or if he switches out, you get momentum. Um, if it's not choice graph, it could also be a SD Landris, then he could go hard for SD here potentially just to immediately put pressure or he could also pull a hard switch into Magnus Zone. And ABR's play is either get up a hazard or hard switch out into the Clefable or the Glisk or those other options. You can see ABR get up a spike as um, Montreal Lightning goes into Magnus Zone, it's going to be able to 2 hit KO the Ferrothon unless it goes for Leech Sheet. But even if it goes for Leech Sheet, um, it does only a little bit of chip to the Magnus Zone and can and it can miss, so I understand why he just went for knockoff. So I think this H HP fire is a role to kill the Pharaoh, but even if um, the Pharaoh lives that, it doesn't really matter, because all he could have done is get up a second spike. Now he either has to go into Kelio or Gliscor to scare out the Magnezone. Decides to go into Gliscor. Gliscor pretty much forces Lightning to go into Landris. Like, he doesn't have another switch in, unless he's Ice Beam Clef, which I highly doubt he is. Uh, Landris the only play he can make. ABI goes for Ice Fang, making a really good play there. I'm expecting the Landris to come out. This damage tells us the Landris has no bulk investment, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that means it's not a Scarf Landris. Uh, also, turn 1, I didn't U turn on the Pharaoh, making me think it's not Scarf, and now this damage pretty much confirms it because Scarf Landris runs bulk investment, and this Landris has no no bulk. Um, because um, to me, it's pretty obvious Gliscor, uh, SD Gliscor doesn't run attack investment, and this damage from no attack Gliscor versus no bulk Landris should be somewhere around this. Um, if it's bulky Landris, it would have taken like 35. Like, I'm just head calking, but it's, it's pretty obvious to me um, that it's not bulky Landris. So it's most likely Zeme of Landris, which is a big threat to ABR's team. I don't think he should stay in with the Gliscor and let it take the Z move. Um, because if Gliscor gets chipped, Alexander pretty much just wins the game. Um, if Lycan is able to trap the Scissor, which shouldn't be too hard for him. So not sure, uh, I guess if you break the Sky Strike you can go hard into Tapu Koko here, but this is a tough turn for ABR. It's between SD and Z-Move here, so he Z SD's up. He SD's up. Um, that was risky because if ABR stayed in Ice Fanged, he could have potentially been faster with the Gliscor. Um, I know ABR, or is it FV who made that spread? Someone made like a max speed Gliscor set. Or like, definitely people like run... Close goes with um, that outspeed land, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so ABI goes in the scissor there. I'm not sure if he breaks the HP eyes. Like, it was pretty obvious at this point that it's um, most likely SDZ move Landris. But yeah, Lycan predicts him to switch. Yeah, maybe he breaks them to go scissor. So good play on Lycan's part. And ABI has to pick a fodder. I think it's between either Coco or Scissor. You sack one of the two. Well, if you sack Scizor, you just lose to Alakazam, so I don't know if you can do that. But even if you don't do that, you can get, get trapped by Magnuson after later in the game anyway. So this is tough for ABR. So I assume we either see um, an Earthquake or a Z-Move here from Lycan. And ABR has to pick his forward and then afterwards go into most likely the Kaldeo. Because um, if you go Gliscor, Ice Fang, um, you risk missing it if you click Ice Fang with Gliscor, basically. And yeah, Kaldeo comes out and... Lycan should save this because this can still put him work. Oh yeah, he sacked off the Coco and we saw that the Coco didn't have a Shuka Berry, making me think that the Coco um, is probably a Zemo variant. And yeah, the Pex is most likely gonna come out here because the land is still valuable. ABR pulls a double into Clef, breaking the Pex, so good play on ABR's side. Now we can most likely get up the rocks here. And I think we're gonna see a switch into either Alakazam or Landris from Lycan. Because like Pex staying in on Clef, it's just a PB stall wall. Like Pex can click Scald, Haze. Like it, nothing much happens, so it's just like a boring scenario. So I understand, uh, yeah, like you just wanna go to Alakazam or Landris to one of your offensive mons. 
So Avia was able to get up the rocks and he goes hard into Kelly now. Um, because Kelly can live an earthquake and it also covers Lightning going for SD. Uh, Lightning gets up the rocks. Okay, so that means he doesn't have rocks on the clef. Bit surprised by that. So maybe his clef. His clef gets an extra move slot that could be. Um, well, so Moonbass and Softball is guaranteed. And then the extra move slot. Instead of Calm and. Uh, instead of. <laughs> God, I can't talk. <laughs> the extra move slot instead of rocks could be Calm Mind. Could be T Wave, could be Wish. I'm not exactly sure. We have to, we're gonna have to see that. But yeah, pretty much. We're gonna most likely see the Toxapex come out again because there's no reason to sack the Landris yet. Um, ABR can either attack, uh, just attack, I guess, hoping that he stays in, or he could also put a double into Gliscor, expecting the Pex to come out. So Pex does just come out. I'm pretty sure ABS stayed in because uh, if Kelly would have switched out, he would have switched out before the Landers would have switched out. So he goes for Surf, gets a crit in this 26. So that makes me think that it's most likely choice Cigar of Kelly. Um, and it's obviously Spadef Pex. Um, the reason you run Surf over Scald, well, Scald or Burn, Burn got nerfed in Gen 7, and Surf, I think, guaranteed. Twit KOs Tapu Lele after rocks and Scald is a roll to Twit KO Tapu Lele after rocks. That's the only thing I remember from like Sun and Moon from last SPL where, where um, Choice Scarf Kelly was ran sometimes. At that point in time, Volcarona was really common, so people used like Scarf Kelly or Scarf Chomp to check Volcarona. But yeah, now um, Lightning can either Scald here or put a double into something. Like he doesn't have much to pressure the Gliscor. So I'm not sure if he maybe pulls a double into Lander here expecting the Glisco or if he just goes for Scald. But Glisco is definitely gonna come out from ABI. Yep. He gets up a T Spike, okay. So T Spike is gonna help him chip down the Kelio. I mean Kelly wasn't a threat to his team anyway, but it's still cool to chip that down. And yeah, I think he's pretty much forced to go into Landers here again. So ABR can um, yeah exactly SD up. And now, um, if ABR has speed on his Gliscor to outspeed this Landris, you can just pick it off. Um, because Gliscor is base 95 speed, Landris is base 91, I think. So if ABR hits this ice, like this Gliscor might just be able to do it for ABR. <laughs> so we can see Lycan's Lando is faster, which means this um, it's not super fast Gliscor. It's just probably just has speed for stuff like Zygarde and Heatran. Okay, we are live now, you guys could just see the Ice Fang miss from ABR's side, which is really annoying for him. And now, I assume Lycan is gonna spam Edge, but he SDs. So what did Lycan predict there? He either predicted um, ABR to Roost, or maybe he has Ice Beam Clef to deal? No, he doesn't have Ice Beam Clef, because maybe he's modest Zem. Like, he was really confident... Like, you only SD there, if you have something that can still kill the Gliss score afterwards. Um, even if the Gliscor Ice Fangs there and picks off the Landris. So he's either modest them and Psychic kills, or he has to be Ice Beam Clef. But if he's Ice Beam Clef, he would have gone to it on the Gliscor earlier already. So he has to be modest them or something. Let's see. Anyways, the reason um, why he's most likely Continental Crush on this team is because he has Toxic Spikes on his Toxapex, so he probably doesn't have Toxic. So his team struggles a lot with killing Zapdos. So I don't see why he's gonna crush on Landris. Makes a lot of sense. So let's see, what is this? Modest Psychic or something? HP Ice. Ooh hoo hoo. So that's, that's probably game. Like, I think the Gliska would have just won for ABR if the Zem wasn't able to kill it. But now that Zem just killed it, um, you can just. Lycan can just switch out and Toxapex here. Like ABR, what is ABR gonna do? He has to U-turn because he doesn't want to get trapped, obviously. Oh, but yeah, you never go hard Magnus on here. That's a hard misplay. You always go Pex. So I assume we see a U-turn on knockoff. We see a SD, okay. So SD into probably U-turn. Him SDing so confident makes me think that he might have speed for for Magnus on, and he would have been able to pick it off maybe. So Clef comes out. Clef on Pex. Nice PP stall action here. So he had. HPI's Mega Zam, which makes sense because his team is so weak to Gliscor. Still didn't see that coming. <laughs> so ABI clicks Moonblast here, and yeah, like Clef versus Pax is just like a PB store, it's like nasty. 
Like sometimes it's just Moonblast and Rock spam from Clef, sometimes CM spam from Clef, versus like Scald or Hay spam from Pex. So eventually one of the two is gonna switch, Lightning pulls a switch in the Megiana here. Now we can maybe see from the damage, okay we see ABI has Wish on his Clef. So Wish pass to um, keep Ferrothorn, Keldeo and Coco healthy in general. So Wish is in the Scizor. Uh, if Lightning has HP 5 on Megina, you can go for that, but I assume he's just gonna vault out because you don't really run HP Fire Megina when you already have HP Fire Magnezone to trap Scizor. And I, like he's he's really not um he he really shouldn't go Magnezone because just the way ABI is playing this, like earlier I didn't see it like this, but just the way ABI is playing this, he might have knockoff and speed for Magnezone. Which means um, he can kill the Magnuson with knockoff, but yeah, since the Pex walls the scissor forever, this is not a problem for Lightning. And he can just click uh, Skull here, I guess. If ABI stays in, he risks getting burned. So, like ABI, ABI can't win. The game's pretty much over at this point because yeah, like if a scissor ever gets burned, what's it called? It's not a threat anymore. And yeah, Alakazam just wins if the scissor goes down because the Kalio obviously I mean that Pex pretty much wins alone. But it's just like it's just like a game that you're gonna have to play out. So ABI wishes into Scissor again. Lightning goes back. Is this T Wave Clef, okay buddy. So <laughs> Now, um, that means the Magnezone now outspeeds the Scizor. So Lightning can try to maybe sack the Megina to the Scizor and then trap it with the Magnezone. Now that the Scizor is T-waved. But yeah, just, just go Toxapex and then he's mostly gonna click Haze. Um, yeah, that was that was the correct play, T-waving this so you can outspeed it with the Magnezone and trap it if you sack the um, Megiana to it. You obviously don't want to sack the packs because if you sack the packs, then you can potentially open up the Kelio. Like if the Kelio gets some crits on the, if the Kelio gets a crit on the Clef. I don't remember how healthy the Clef is. I think it's at full, but maybe the Kelio can luck through. Well, the Kelio is also in the timer from T Spike. I, I, I just don't see ABI winning this game. Um, definitely better matchup for Lycan. Then it looked like ABI could do it with Gliss score, but then he had the HPI's tech. Um, really cool tech, and just that tech alone deserves a win. <laughs> Hard Magnezone predicting the roost here. Um, completely fine play, because if he doesn't roost there, he's super low. Like, And the T-Wave also keeps ABI in check. And I'm pretty sure the Magnezone also would not have died to, um, to a knockoff from that range. Like... Yeah, yeah, I probably would have been able to live. So he dodges a pump there, which doesn't matter at this game. At this point, the game is over. Well, yeah, ABR um, had two, in my opinion, hard matchups so far. Versus Fruitila, now versus One True Lighten. And his next match is gonna be versus my friend Avon, which is, I think, Thursday. That's gonna be hype. Like, this game is already over. It's just. Yeah, they say GG. I think I'm behind. I'm not gonna skip the turns. So it's it's Calm my T Wave Clefable. That's the extra move slot I talked about earlier. Since he had rocks on Landris, he gets an extra move slot on Clef. I didn't think he would be Calm and T Wave. Like, I thought he would only have one of the two and then maybe have an extra coverage move or maybe have Wish or something like that. But yeah, the CM Clef just ends uh, the game here. He CMs up enough and then he's gonna start spamming Moonblast. And AB, like I mean, they already said GG, so it's obvious that the game is over. Like ABI would have to crit this, and even then it wouldn't matter because there's still a Pex in the bag that he doesn't break. But if actually even if ABI crits, this crit wouldn't kill, right? Because ABI himself doesn't have CM. Yeah, he would need a double crit or something like that. Mm. Yeah, he would need a double crit. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And it's pretty obvious that he doesn't get it because they already said GG. So Moonlance is going to be able to 2 it KO ABR's Clef. And even if ABR crits the Clef from Lycan with his Keldeo, the Pex in the back is going to win the game. So um, definitely a fun one to watch. 
cool, cool HBI's tech. Thank you guys for watching.